everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys we are going to give a makeover to this beautiful brand new Draculora doll Draculora was out of stock when I made my first order with this new gen 3 monster high dolls but now I finally managed to get one and today we are going to give her a complete makeover I'm actually really excited about this Draculora because I really love her new curvy body there are not that many curvy dolls on the market so let's see where I will end up with this project and I'm going to turn her into a vampire actually I probably never made a vampire doll here on my channel is it true I don't remember any <laughs> really so strange yeah so I've made more than 200 dolls here on my channel but this is going to be my first vampire so now let's unbox her let's take a look at all these accessories and then we will remove her face and start from zero so guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course uh, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes and this being said let's start working so, this doll is from the Creepover Party Collection, that's why she wears a fluffy robe and some fantastic pyjamas and all the accessories will be somewhat sleepover themed. And I think that this doll is absolutely adorable, I really like her pink hair, it's a very pretty color, a pretty blend. The face is also very cute, the body looks super yummy, I don't know, she's just a beautiful girl and I'm especially a fan of her bad home shoes, it's a very cool detail. Okay, now let's quickly run through her accessories. First of all, she has a headband with bat ears, but I don't know, it doesn't look that good with her space band. So am I doing something wrong? I don't know, it looks a little bit strange to me. Then she has this face mask. The next is a somewhat softish pillow, it's actually quite nice. Nail polishes, no, you cannot really do them open, this is how they are. A bottle of cherry juice and this one you can open and put something inside. And a pet in the bed. Super, everything looks really good, I really love this doll, I really love everything about it. So and now let's give her a makeover, let's see how she will look with a new face and in a new outfit. So now I'm going to undress her and then I will wipe her face off with pure acetone. Okay, everything is gone, I've also sealed her face with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and now it's time to draw a new face for her. And you know, I don't want her skin tone to be pink, I want it to be a very pale light nude with a pink subtone, I think it will look better, to be honest I'm not a fan of solid pink skin tones on dolls, so I'm gonna do it my way today. She's still gonna be kinda pinkish, but she will not be completely pink. I think it will look better, maybe I'm wrong. Ha! <laughs> 
Her makeup will be very dramatic. I want her to have dark smoky eyes, very dark almost black lips and red eyes. I think it will look very pretty. Okay, the face is finished, later I will blush her body with soft pastels to make it the same color like the face, but first I need to make an outfit for her, and I'm going to start with making a corset out of Warbler Thermoplastic. So this is the basic corset and now I can paint it pink. vertical stripes, first with a pencil and then with black acrylics.
So this is what I've made guys, I don't know, I think it looks already very cute but we are not done yet with this corset because now I want to attach a piece of lace to the top of it. You can see I've also attached this ruffled lace and now I think it looks really good. So let's decorate the front with this very pretty button with a spider and I will also add some tiny buttons to the middle of the corset to finish it up. And yes, now I think it looks finished, it looks super cute to me. I will of course still lace it up later at the back, but right now I'm going to make a skirt for her out of this black satin fabric. I want this skirt to have a really long train, I think it will match the very dramatic look of this doll. So you can see I've cut out this detail with a very long back part and now I will turn in the bottom and also the waistline and then I will gather the waist with the ribbon. Like this the skirt is finished it looks really great to me it goes really good with this corset check it out I think it's very pretty so now I still need to make a pair of shoes for her and for this I will need my warbler thermoplastic The heels for the shoes I'm going to make out of toothpicks. And here are the basic shoes. I think they look really good, but they're not finished of course yet. So now let's paint and decorate them. And 
this is where I've ended up with the shoes. Check them out. I think they look very classy and they will go great with the dress. But they will be covered with the skirt all the time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, here are the shoes. Okay, now I don't need her body anymore and it means I can sand and seal it and then I will cover it with the same soft pastels that we've used on her face. Great, now I can put all the things that I've made on the doll's body and then I will style her hair. You can see I have made a pair of lace gloves for her and now I think her outfit looks completely finished. I just want to paint her nails black. And actually hairstyling won't be too complicated this time because I really liked her space buns. She looked really cute with them. So I will remake the buns, but I will make them a little bit bigger. And then I will attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, draw a tiny black heart on her cheek. And then I will add a pair of earrings. And after that, we will take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished doll. I wanted to keep her looking like Draculaura and at the same time restyle her completely. And I think it really worked today. She definitely looks like a more adult and sophisticated version of Draculaura. The top with pink and black stripes reminds me of some old Draculaura outfits as well as the ruffles on her neck. Draculaura had the top with a similar front neck design. 
So I think I've managed to keep the original Draculaura vibe, but make her more yeah, sophisticated. I think she looks like she graduated from the Monster High and how she leaves her best royal fantasy in her father's castle in Transylvania or something like this. So I really love how she turned out. I hope guys that you like my version of Draculaura as well, so please let me know in the comments what you think about this makeover and about the new version of Draculaura in general. Do you like this new curvy Draculaura or you prefer the old one maybe? And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for 3 days right now, the link is in the description box, so please check it out if you are interested. So and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please guys don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and I will see you very soon in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys, bye!